We're here in Kona ahead of the Ironman World Champs and we've got 2016 Asia Pacific Ironman champion Tim Van Berkel and his bike and he's getting ready to compete in his fourth Ironman World Champs. Tim, thanks for joining us. Can you just tell me a little bit about the frame? Thanks, Heather. Yeah, well, I've been riding, riding Giant for seven years now. Um, I ride the Giant Trinity. I ride a size small frame. I like the smaller frame just so I can get in that aero position. Because um, you're quite tall. That's, that's quite... Yeah, I'm 5'11", so yeah, I prefer the smaller size. Just get a, I get a better aero position. Okay. So, Tim, how long have you been riding this frame? So I was uh, lucky enough to be a part of the, the launch of this bike. Um, so I had a prototype in uh, 2015, which I rode uh, Ironman 70.3 Sunshine Coast, which I won that race. And yeah. then I had the, the full bike for Kona 2015, which we launched here. So the, um, it's pretty much the same one we've launched. The only thing we've changed um, over the, the last year is the, the storage thing. Okay. Uh, we've changed that to a slit now so you can, easy access to your gels. Um, you've got your junction box in there as well. Okay. And we've also changed the, the front hydration, which is a bigger bottle now. So it f fits a full 700 mil bottle. And as a bigger the frame, the bigger the bottle is. So okay. uh, since I ride a small, the bottles, the frame, uh, the bottle's still small, but um, with the large, you can actually fit more water in there. Okay, and so as we're on hydration, um, you've got 700 mil there. How much have you got? So here, it's, I think it's about 350, but this will have my um, race day nutrition. So I'll have, okay. that's, that will be all my calories. That will be all my gels. Uh, here I'll run water uh, and just whatever I pick up at the aid stations, mm -hmm. I just top that up with uh, water or sports drink. And here will be another bottle full of calories, another with electrolyte drinks as well that I, I, uh, I just, I only take the one at the back when this is empty. Yeah. And I, I barely try to avoid getting out of the aero position, reaching back. I only do it for, for emergency. So I'll have a special needs at Harvey. And uh, if all this is empty, I'll grab special needs at Harvey and put that in so there. And What do you have in your special needs? Uh, so it will be, I'll have some gels uh, just in case I might drop this or um, for emergency, but mainly it will be just an electrolyte bottle. And do you carry anything in here? Yeah, so yeah, I have a few gels in there as well. I can fit about five gels in there. Yeah. Um, the previous one we had on the on the first Trinity, it was a, a smaller one and it had like a, a lid. We could only fit three or four in there. Yeah. So with the bigger one now, you can fit extra gels. So Tim, if you can just quickly talk us um, through your um, group set, what you've chosen on the bike. Yeah, so I run the, the new Durace. Um, obviously I've got the, the, old, the old Durace uh, cranks here, because, uh, cranks because I, got, I run the SRM power meter, okay. so I've got the 5542. Yeah. On the back I have the 2811. I had the 28 just because I like to spin a little bit more. I like to keep my cadence around 90, 95, and um, also got the new Durace pedals, and I run 165 cranks. And have you always used 165 cranks? Because that is fairly short for some of your height. Yeah, so I, I like the shorter cranks. Obviously, I can um, I can get in a lower position with my front end, and it still keeps my hip hip angle open. And um, you know, if you close that hip angle, that's where I have in the past. I've had a lot of problems with my hips, so I ride the shorter cranks just to take that bit of pressure off my hips. And Tim, you've got some shiny looking wheels. What have you got on the bike? Yes, yeah, so I've got the new Shimano C60 wheels. Uh, I love these wheels. They're 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 very fast, and um, you know they're a lot wider than their previous Shimano wheel. And I'm running a, a 25 tire uh, Victoria courses, and um, yeah, I really love these wheels. I was hesitant to to run the C60 or the C40, but um, you know I've tested out the C60s on the Queen K with the wind, and it's been fine. So I'm going to go with that on race day. And what pressure are you going to be running? Uh, I'll probably just run um, one 110 to 120. Uh, depending on how hot it is, but yeah, usually I just run 110, 120. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to pump too much into yeah. it. And I, you know, back home we we got rough roads, and uh, so I'm used to riding with low tire pressure. But um, you know, this this is obviously nice, yeah, smooth and road and fast. Summer, so yeah, yeah. So Tim, just bring us forward to the cockpit. Talk us through um, what you've got going on here. 
Yep, uh, so I run the, the 51 Speed Shop pads and I usually had the bars in there, but I actually broke them on uh, traveling back from uh, Asia. So I, I haven't got them in there at the moment, okay. but I will have them after this race. So, and I've also got the, the prototype 51 Speed Shop bar tape, which I really like. It's really, really comfortable. Okay. Um, basically, the rest is just giant. Um, I've got my Garmin. Uh, usually my training pages are, I like to run. On race day, I'll just run power, uh, speed, heart rate, and uh, time and distance, obviously. Whilst we're up here, where are your shifters? What are you using? Yeah, so I, I don't have the new uh, Dura shifters. I, I tried them, but I found it a bit hard getting used to the synchro shift, and I found it a little bit funny, but you know, I kind of like it on my roadie, but on my TT, you know, I like to be able to change uh, the front derailleur up here where you couldn't on the synchro shift so I've just gone back to the old ones you know I've been riding these double ones for like three years now and it's just I've, you know I've just come custom to it and I like it so you know I've got the double one here as well so I can change the front and the back there and the front and back there and and same on the aero bars. Cool and finally leaving the cockpit behind um, what saddle have you chosen to use? So I've I've struggled with saddles over the years and um, I'm finally I ride the ISM, I'm finally pretty comfortable on that. When I get in on the sweet spot, I can sit in the aero position all day, but you know, some still cuts me up every now and then, especially on a, on a long Ironman, but I think that's pretty standard. But yeah, I ride the ISM saddle and uh, yeah, that's, that's my bike. Well, Tim, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Just wondering where you keep any um, puncture repair, pit stop. Yeah, so I will I'll definitely take a spare. You know, it's Ironman racing and, uh, you know, you're definitely not out of it. So if you get a puncher, you quickly can fix it and, and get back in the race. Um, they do have a neutral spares for the, for the pro race, but I will carry my own pit stop cam, which I'll tape on the back here or somewhere here and, uh, you know, try to hide it along there. Cool. Um, so finishing on the bike, just let's have a look at helmets. You've got two here. What's this one that I'm holding? So that, that is the Giant Pursuit helmet. It's an aero road helmet. And, and I've got the, the Rivet TT helmet, which I'm still, I don't know what I'm gonna run yet. Um, depending on how hot it is, this obviously breathes a lot better than this one, but yeah. uh, I'm not a heavy sweater. And I did ride this last year and I found it all right. I did do a race in um, Cebu uh, a couple of months ago and it was hot and I was dripping and I really struggled with this. So I'm kind of leaning towards this just, yeah. just for the better comfort and the airflow. And it's more vented than some aero helmets as well yeah definitely it's still it still breathes well and there's no um there's no Rise shield there. on it so yeah. that you can still um get a lot of air to your face they uh they did a lot of testing and they found that um it wasn't any faster with a shield so it was just as fast with um with sunny so they decided not to to go it well tim thanks so much for your time really interesting having a look at your bike thanks heather if you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up, like, and to subscribe to GTN, just click on the globe. Now, you might have heard Tim mentioning cycling cadence. Well, we've done a video on that, looking at how your cycling cadence can affect your run. If you want to watch that, just click down here. And if you want to see other pro bikes, click down here.